Well, I know I've never expressed this on this channel before, but if you've ever been, no, which ain't nobody on here on my Facebook, I definitely threw it out there on my Facebook. I used to get mad hearing about girls talking about men from Indiana. They call us weak, tell us we was lazy, we live off of women. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of dudes I know here in Indiana live off of women. Um, that's why this girl's on me so hard, because I was the first guy to ever pay bills, which is crazy. Out of all the men she ever dated, I'm the only one to pay bills. And I be doing all these videos about women. It's time for me to do a video about these men. It's too many weak-ass men out here. What inspired this video is me getting off of work. And I'm an independent person. I don't ask for things in life, like period. Like I just I don't ask for things. I hate to. I hate to swallow my pride and ask for things. Because that's just how I was raised. You know, I couldn't ask for things growing up. So I guess people just don't live easy streets out here, boy. If only they went through a quarter of what I'd have been through. Um a lot of these dudes just done had easy streets. They just done skated easy through life, living off of women and, and all this shit. And I don't know, boy. It's just crazy to me. Uh, because I'm at work. Now, y'all know I got bad feet, y'all. I have, like, my feet are all the way gone. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't be working on them. I should be applying for disability, but I might as well be applying for a disability at this point. But the only thing about disability is you have to stay off your feet for months until they approve you, which I think is just crazy, man. It's just a crazy world, America, boy. Trash ass. That's trash as hell. You know, for somebody like me that's really in pain and really uh, at the end of the road, and I know what the hell to do, but I'm strong. I'm going I'm to I'm get through it anyway. But anyways, so they all know. I was full-time there. Y'all was supposed to be the kitchen supervisor there. And I gave that money up. Um which my checks there was probably around 1500 1600 every two weeks, which is okay. If I had been a manager, I would have got a raise. I would have still been the only cook there. So come summertime, my checks probably would have been like 2000 every two weeks. Now I'm making um, part-time. I decided to leave that to leave that uh, position alone, that offer opportunity alone, skip off on it so I could focus on me, get off my feet and not wear myself down for these jobs. And I decided to go part-time and work 15, 20 hours a week. Now, of course, it's not staying that way. I was supposed to, the deal was I didn't have to work uh, shifts longer than five hours and I never had to close. And of course, the owner just completely went in and switched that up on me. And so he got me working four days next week, closing two of those days. Uh, and one of those days is uh, like a nine or 10 hour shift, which I will be calling off on that day. Fuck them. You know what I mean? That shit's crazy. And one of the reasons why he did it is because does it is because the the fucking dishwasher and the weak ass cook keep asking him to have me stay longer to help them close. Now mind y'all, this is the same kitchen where I was the only cook for months when we was doing real business. I was a saute cook, line cook, prep cook, pizza cook, fryer, all by myself. Never asked anybody for help, y'all. Not once. Not once did I ask somebody for help. Because that's just how I am. And these weak motherfuckers cannot close the kitchen down for the last hour or two by themselves. I should be able to leave at 3 o'clock. Open to 3. No problem. But I can't because, like today, they asked if I could stay and help them close. For what, motherfucker? You don't need me there. Like, y'all know I've And what's crazy is, I told the cook was like, I'm a better prep cook than I am a line cook. So, so I said, okay, well, I can do both. It don't matter to me. I can do both, you weak motherfucker. So... I said, all right, well, I'll do the line cook then while you do prep. Went to do the line, ran the rush today. He still didn't do any prep. I still ended up having to go over there and do the substantial prep because I wasn't even about to play with him. He was walking around it purposely trying not to do it. So I wasn't even going to play with it. I just went ahead and did it because I'm not no weak motherfucker like him. You know what I mean? And it's going to take everything in me. This is why I'm a misanthrope. I don't like people. It's going to take everything in me not to go off, y'all, at work. I don't care about losing my job because I'm a cook. I can get another job. You know, it's going to take everything in me not to go off on that motherfucker because I was heated today. And it's just crazy because I don't understand, man. Like, and is it Indiana? I know that that's probably only one person on my page here from Indiana, I think. Sometimes I'll be thinking the owner and found this page sometimes, bro, because it's the little silly looks he be giving me. But um, I'm just going to have to let them fire me or something, man, because I'm not about to keep doing this. It's some BS. I'm pissed off. Why did y'all ask him to help for me to help y'all close? You can't do it yourself. I just I remember when I was in my early twenties, there was a dude that came. It was some guys. I had my own place. I just got out of prison, got my own crib. I was twenty two, 
And I had some dudes that was in their 30s coming around me. And they was like, boy, you don't even know what you got. You got your own crib. You know how, what that is? You bitch ass nigga. Go get your own crib with your weak ass. The fuck? It's a fucking duplex for $400 a month, motherfucker. That ain't no accomplishment. You in your 30s. Talking about I don't know what I got. Get your bitch ass out of here. Damn. So, you know, I know I be saying all this shit about the women, man. Let's let's talk about these weak ass men out here that can't stand on their feet. That that's always asking people for help. Like motherfucker, be independent sometimes. I want somebody to help me uh grow into success in a certain way. But people know me, man. I'm gonna go get mine, man. I'm in all this pain. I'll go work two jobs right now if I needed to. If shit hit the fan, I'd be working 60 hours right now to go get my own crib, my own, another video, whatever it has to be on me, this because this is me. And what I'm saying is nothing special. But for these weak motherfuckers, it is, because they just can't wrap their head around doing shit like this, man. I don't like it. So now I gotta work longer hours on my feet because these motherfuckers can't close the kitchen by themselves. This is a story of my life, though. I've always been around weak-ass men. That's why I can understand when the women say this about the men, like the men in, in this new generation are weaker. And if my father, if my father being an asshole he was, did anything, I, I appreciate him for being an asshole he was because I don't want to even be in line or nowhere close to you weak motherfuckers, man. Learn how to stand on your own. I don't like it. I had to vent. I'm out of here. It's probably going to lose some subscribers. I don't give a fuck. Hopefully it's one of these weak-ass men.